All right, Hunts. We just wanted to keep y'all waiting this morning. A little extra juice in there, man. You know, in the morning, Doc. Hey, I'm I'm jumping in too early, Doc. What's up, Doc? <laughs> How you doing, man? We got too excited this morning, man. <laughs> Another edition of Good Morning Huntsville. We are live here at Huntsville Family Dental, just off 45 in Montgomery. Come on by, check them out. We're going to be talking teeth today. We're going to be talking toothbrushes. I know y'all are excited. Oh, <laughs> so, yeah. Hey, we can make teeth and toothbrushes exciting, man. That's right, man. We've been doing that. So we've, we've been doing it for, <laughs> for months, man. You know, when did we start this, Doc? It's been a while. Must you mind be. if I call you Doc, by the no, way? I don't mind. I like that. Yeah, it must be like, what, February? Really? It's we been started? a while. Yeah. yeah, so we've been we've been bringing it, man. Yeah. You know, it's been a it, it, we didn't have it last week. We're back on this week. And uh, first and foremost, want to welcome everybody in. So thanks for joining us here on Good Morning Huntsville where we talk about the good happening right here in our backyard in our community. A lot of things growing, man. Have you been Well, of course, you're cruising up from Conroe area. That's right. I uh I was down I didn't even know there was like a town called Bel Air down in Houston, or like a neighborhood Bel Air. Yeah, it's a pretty ritzy little area too. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I was, you know, we go to we go to church down at Lakewood in uh -huh. Houston, and then Bel Air is like back. It's like ten minutes away mm -hmm. or something. Uh, but man, I was down there. I was looking for the Fresh Prince, man. <laughs> He wasn't <laughs> right? there. He wasn't there. He wasn't there, man. No. Car Carlton was there. Oh, you saw Carlton? Yeah, okay. Carlton was there, but the Fresh Prince didn't show up, man. So. Well, hey, we're having fun this morning. We're going to be talking again, teeth, toothbrushes, whatever you want to talk about. We're going to have a fun show. We don't have any guests lined up today, uh, so Dr. Presley and I just wanted to chat about what's going on here in Huntsville. Uh, we haven't really had a whole lot of time to dig into events, and so we wanted to just kind of delegate that time this morning. Uh, we're also going to be talking about what national day it is, and boy, it's, uh, it's a weird one today, so you're going to want to stay tuned in for that. And then, Doc, you know how I always just throw stuff on you. So today we're going to bring back things that make you mad that shouldn't make you mad. Okay. Let me, let me go ahead and be thinking so about So start that. thinking about that. I was thinking about things in sports that make me mad that shouldn't make me mad this morning. Oh, that's a good one. That's yeah. a good angle to take. So think about maybe – we'll, maybe we'll take that angle too yeah. if you want to. But this morning I was thinking about – I try to be positive, but I was really thinking about things in sports that make me mad that shouldn't make me mad. Mm. And I've already got one in the back of my mind. It's one of those things when you're in the shower and you start thinking. Yeah. You know, man, you should be praising. Instead, you're thinking. You know, so you got to get your gears right, man, in the morning. Uh, so we're going to be talking about that this morning. Uh, we'll be talking about events that are going on throughout Huntsville. A lot of great things. Of course, what big event is right coming up this weekend, man? Fourth Monday. July. Fourth of July. Fourth of July. And uh, that's going to be on a Monday. That's going to be on a Monday. And I know folks in the work world are so happy that's about that. a good that. day. Monday, 4th of July is a good day. It's a good day. And in fact, I'm taking off uh, Tuesday and Wednesday, kind okay. of an extended weekend. We're going we're gonna to be down back in Central Texas, man, over at Lake Buchanan. Where is that? And burn it. Burn, burn it, Texas. It, Texas. Hmm. My buddy and I used to always have these acronyms like, burn it. You, you brought it, you burn it. <laughs> so we'd always say, you something, you something. Yeah. Things that don't make you mad that should make you happy. So, <laughs> Well, let us know you're out there. A lot of friends already joining us on the social media streams. Of course, we're on Facebook. We're on uh, YouTube. We're all across that. We're even on LinkedIn this morning. I said, why not? We'll just throw it up there to reach out to some of the professional community. But let us know you're out there. We'll pop those comments up as well on our streams here. And uh, we'll just have a fun, interactive show here this morning. We also want to say hello to you. That's one of our favorite things, to be able just to reach out and say hello and let us let you know that we're listening and we're paying attention uh, because this is your show. You know, I did this in years and years in Georgetown. Mm -hmm. I, in fact, made a living doing the show back in Georgetown. I mean, it was kind of my primary gig there after I got out of the IT business for a while in that transition to radio. And, man, we had so much fun. But my buddy Ken and I, when we did the show, mm -hmm. you would not like this, Doctor, because we started – at 5 a.m. Wow. And we would go until 8. It was 5 to 8. Three hours. Yeah, and then after a couple of weeks of that, we said 6 to 8. And then after a couple of weeks of that, we said mm, 7, seven, eight. seven, seven <laughs> to 8, 7 to 9. Yeah. So, Let's condense but, that. Yeah. So we're going to step aside, though. We're going to take a brief break. Larry Crippen's got some news for us. Of course, this is powered by KSAM Radio. Make sure you tune in your radio dial, too. In the mornings, 101.7 FM KSAM. Also, 1049-941 The Lake. You can kick back to some of the 80s and 90s, mm -hmm. man. And uh, just enjoy that music. It's all about that state of mind. If you think of the lake, what do you think of, man? What do you think of when you think of the lake, Dr. Presley? Hanging out, relaxation. Yeah. Water sports. There you go, man. That's what the lake radio is all about. It's just that mindset of just mm -hmm. kind of chilling, having fun. And uh, so, again, and we've also bumped the music up. Instead of it being like 60s or 70s, 80s, mm -hmm. and 90s, now it's more like 80s, 90s, and a little bit of early 2K in there, man. Okay. So uh, it fits more of our 
demographic, right. man. You and me, you know, because we're uh, we're what going on twenty three, twenty four. Yeah, yeah, something like that. So, <laughs> well, we'll step aside. We got some news with Larry Crippen and a little bit of inspiration to get your day started. Again, let us know you're out there. A lot of friends already joining us, so send those messages in. We'll get to those as well. Tish Humphreys joining us. Good morning to you, Tish. Also, my good friend Phyllis Miss Kennedy. So, uh, send a comment. Let us know, and we'll pop those up on the screen. For now, though, here's Larry Crippen. With your news, we'll be back here in a moment. This is your show. It's Good Morning Huntsville, live from Huntsville Family Dental. Good morning, everyone. Here's a look at news. Brought to you by WC Automotive, Granary Health Foods, Walker County Federal Credit Union, and Magnolia Lake. Looking over Huntsville Police News during the past several days, last Friday, a vehicle was reported stolen in the 100 block of I-45. A theft was investigated in the 600 block of 11th Street. A firearm was reported stolen from a vehicle in the 2500 block of Avenue M. A truck tractor was stolen in the 500 block of I-45 North. Property was damaged in a case of criminal mischief in the 2500 block of Lake Road. A person reported a suspicious incident in involving possession of child pornography in the 300 block of Forest Lane. On Saturday, a known suspect threatened a person in the 600 block of Hickory. In the 4,000 block of Sam Houston, another person was threatened by a known suspect. In the 600 block of I-45, a known suspect threatened a person. Property was reported stolen in the 500 block of Cherry Hills. On Sunday, property was reported stolen in the 2,700 block of Chimney Rock. In a case of criminal mischief, property was damaged in the 2,800 block of Lake Road. A firearm was reported stolen from a vehicle in the 200 block of Gale Lane. On Monday, Daniel Kivon McMahon was arrested at El Toro and Sam Houston Avenue for evading arrest detention, municipal court warrants, and a probation violation out of Hardin County. Around 14% of Walker County residents are 65 and over, which means there's a definite health care need for seniors in our area. On Tuesday, the House Energy and Commerce Subcommittee discussed the issues pro and con regarding MA, or Medicare Advantage plans. Washington Congresswoman Kathy McMorris-Rogers told the committee, On average... MA patients report spending nearly $2,000 less on their out-of-pocket costs and premiums com compared to Medicare fee-for-service. For seniors on a fixed income who are especially pinched by inflation and surging energy costs, these savings make a huge difference in their lives. Medicare Advantage gives them more choices, too. In uh, 2022, the average Medicare beneficiary had access to 39 Medicare Advantage plans. That's more than double the number of plans per person in 2017, and the largest number of options available in more than a decade. Still, there's improvements to be made. Indeed, on the other side of the coin, the American Hospital Association wrote to the oversight hearing, quote, inappropriate and excessive denials for prior authorization and coverage of medically necessary services is a pervasive problem among certain plans in the MA program. This results in delays in care and other issues. Fox News reports that on Monday, a tractor trailer was found in San Antonio with 51 dead migrants inside. The tractor trailer had identifying markings that had been copied from a truck of a different company. It has been conjectured that the truck had been left abandoned because of mechanical issues. Homeland Security has detained three people believed to be involved in a smuggling operation. And Professor of Primary Care and Clinical Medicine, Dr. Thomas J. Moore, has been named the new dean of the Sam Houston State University College of Osteopathic Medicine, effective September 15th. Dr. Moore comes to SHSU-COM from the Idaho College of Osteopathic Medicine, where he serves as dean and chief academic officer. Keeping you informed of the most accurate and timely news, I'm Larry Crippen on 101.7 KSAM. Huntsville Family Dental is accepting new patients. Experienced dentists that are focused on the community and your family helps ensure a pleasant, anxiety-comforted dental experience. Only $49 for exam and x-rays for new cash patients. Fill at home at Huntsville Family Dental from the friendly front office to the dedicated back chair. All your questions will be answered and you will leave with a smile and comfort knowing your dental needs have been addressed. Just smile. Call Huntsville Family Dental at 295-5437. That's 295-5437. This little title right here is called Funk. It's going to get you grooving this morning. I always love that, man. I, yeah, it's good. It's good music. I like overplay. Sometimes people say don't overplay. I can't, I can't overplay music like can't that. can't overplay that, man. This almost makes me want to go back to the day when I used to freestyle, man. <laughs> oh, let's let's hear it, bro. No, I ain't doing all that, man. <laughs> used to. Used to. Welcome back, friends. Good morning, Huntsville. Right here. In the heart of East Texas. I'm going to start calling Huntsville the heart of East Texas. Heart of East Texas. You think of heart, what do you think of? Passion. Passion. Good people. Good people. Just down to earth, mm -hmm. good, heart. You know, when you got heart and soul for something, what do you have? Like you said, passion. Passion, love. Love. Pa that That's all-encompassing Huntsville, Texas. 
And so maybe some of you today are saying, you know what, I, I love hearing that. Mm-hmm. Maybe where you live, you don't feel that. Um, come visit Huntsville. I don't, I don't, do we want it to? No, nah, come move yeah, here. We'll if you open want it to. up. Yeah, we'll open it up. Man. <laughs> come down here and experience the good people. Hey, again, let us know you're out there this morning. A couple of comments coming in. Uh, hey, Miss Woodley joining us as well. Martha Woodley back in the Austin area. She was my English teacher back in the day. Oh, wow. And speaking of that, Dr. Presley, mm-hmm. we are here at Huntsville Family Dental. Uh, speaking of that, you know, I had some I had some good news that I was going to share a little bit earlier, and then, of course, our computer crashed. Okay. But I did manage to pull that back up and find it. And speaking of teachers, I want to give a special shout-out this morning to teachers. I know it's Man. not Teacher's Day, but – you know what? It's the summertime. Teachers, most of them are hopefully getting able to kind of recharge for the right. new school year. I know teachers nowadays face so much. They man. do, man. They don't get paid enough for what they take have to take care of, you know, what they have to accomplish every day. So That's a lot. You know, and, and I don't say this rudely, but it's almost like teachers now, you know, it's almost like it, it feels like they're babysitting kids. Yeah. And that's the mindset. Not that the teachers have, but a lot of parents have. You know, it's like, hey, all right, cool, daycare, sending my kids off to right. school. That's not what it is. The teachers are actually raising kids. Teachers are, and they have such a huge influence That's right. on what kids go through and, and kind of how they grow up. And, you know, speaking of that influence, I talked about Miss Woodley a while ago, who's, who's joining us here this morning. Uh, she made a, a positive impact on my life. Miss Woodley, I'm telling you uh, this because you did. You know, as a senior in high school, she was so generous, so nice. Um, when you see those characteristics of somebody in your life, Dr. Yeah. Preston, you know this, man. When you see the characteristics of somebody that just wants to lift you up and encourage you, how do you think that child is going to want to grow up? Oh, man, it's, it's, it makes all the difference in the world to have somebody that actually cares. You know, so I saw a lady uh, a, a few days ago, and um, there was no physical violence, man, but I won't go into the words that she said, but it, it broke my heart because you know it, it, I was outside of Huntsville a little ways, and it was at a convenience store, and saw this lady. And, man, her, her kiddos had to be, I mean, literally like three years old, just, mm-hmm. you know, on that verge of to where they're really starting to communicate well. That's usually about, what, two and a half? They yep. start to kind of put sentences together. And then at mm-hmm. three, by that time, they're putting together sentences pretty well. That's true. And I just remember this lady was just yelling and cursing at her children. And that little kid had to not be any more than three years old. You see it all the time. And then the next kid, you know, was like seven. And, and she had three kids, and every one of them. And I'm just thinking – I understand that we have. I don't want to judge. You got to be careful because I don't want to judge. But as a parent, I'm a I'm a daddy now, so I can finally start talking about these things. <laughs> That's right. You have to be so mindful do. about the atmosphere that you create for your children. That's so true. You know, as a dad, I mean, what have you seen as a dad? You know, you just growing up with your two kiddos, right? I got two. Yeah. So what have you? I mean, what have you tried to do? What have you seen? Uh, same things, man. It's just like you're able to now. I'm able to, have to voice my concerns of you know proper parenting or what what you should do i mean you know like i said you never you never want to judge but you always want to you know give your kids that, that right perspective so they can kind of make you know go into the direction that they need to go in so i mean you know i'm, I'm always thinking about okay what kind of environment am i providing for my kids and i'm hoping that i'm showing them the right way of you know positivity you know the force of working hard and you know being honest and and those Trap attributes that that we need. Your kiddos are how old now? Seven and nine. And so they're really yeah. they're really so grabbed they're, on, they're, man. They're in it. They're in school, yeah. so they got a, a variety of influences from coming from everywhere. We just hope that you know our voice is the one that that they hear when they get in those situations. You know, as they get older. So, so I want to I want to you know I I told, I've kind of felt bad because I mean we led getting on the show and Larry nothing on Larry, <laughs> but he led with the police blotter this morning and make it. I was like, man, that's a lot of negative juice, man. <laughs> But, you know, some people thrive on, like, they want to hear what's going on with them. And if you listen to the police blotter in any city, I mean, you're going to hear all the – there's a lot of stuff. things that you don't hear on the radio. or, right. or But if you look in the paper sometimes or, or you know, on the radio like this morning, uh, you're going to – there is a lot that goes on. There's a lot that goes on. I know in the Georgetown paper back in the day, man, I would I would enjoy reading the police blotter because it would be like, this dude did this, here was this, this lady did this. And it was like random people getting – when you live in a town where a major highway comes through, That's they're like right. pulling over people from out of state, you know. That's and, right, man. And you but, talk about teachers. Think about law enforcement, what they do. With oh, everything. man, yeah. yeah. So, you know, we didn't want to start off with the bad juice this morning, but, you know, that that's just kind of how it is. You know, you you got to be and, – and it does kind of tie into what we're – I didn't even know we are going to go this direction this morning. I don't like to show up. I mean, I've got a few notes here. You know, PSAs, thank you to Glenn Edwards. He put the, He's at our station. He does such a good job, man, and some stuff from the chamber, and they do a great job. But I really don't like to enter into a show where I've got, like, detailed – paragraphs of everything that i'm going to read about yeah 
because you never know where it's going to lead. That's right. You and I sat down. We had no idea we we're going to talk about <laughs> kids and no. positive influences and all that, man. No, not at all. But that's the truth, and I and I want folks to hear that this morning that. You know, if if you're going through a situation, we all face those really bad, hard, tough days, man. We all been there. That's right. But we have to set an atmosphere. And some people say, well, that's being fake. It's not being fake, man. Mm-hmm. It's setting an atmosphere, especially if you have kids, that they're going to understand, like, yeah, maybe dad's having a bad day, but he's also teaching me that he's not going to let that bad juice rain down on me. Exactly. And you just got to find a way to fight through it and say, you know what, man? Go back to your gratitude. What are you thinking? You could be, some of you out there this morning, I know are facing such terrible, terrible situations. I talked, we had a, a prayer meeting last night, a virtual meeting at Lakewood, and there was a lady that was on, you know, and it was for our prayer ministry, and we we're just going through some training. And it's, you know, when I joined a prayer ministry, man, it's not, you don't just like sit down and pray for people. And we're talking about during service, people come up to the altar and they pray. The thing is, man, you have to really be trained to kind of know how to communicate with people because you could come up to me with a very serious problem. And if I don't know how to voice that prayer, I mean, you got to be careful with that. And so that's why we're going through training. And there was a lady that, you know, at the end of it, they prayed over us as the prayer partners and and one of the leaders in, in, in this virtual group. And man, she was talking. Uh, this lady was talking, and she goes, you know, please, yes, please pray for me. You know, I lost my husband a year ago. Mm. You know, that was pretty rough. But then she goes, and I just lost my son last week. And you could hear just that despair in her voice that she needed somebody. She needed some sort of positive atmosphere yeah. to guide her through that. And it's, she ain't going to turn around and start smiling, but in, in which it's tough to go through. I could never imagine losing the love of your life and then losing your son. Child, yeah. But the thing is, you've got to set that atmosphere up to let that person grieve, but also let them know that you're compassionate and that you mm-hmm. care. So if you're having a bad day, you're not going to understand how to set that up because you're focused so much on your own Yourself. world. You're not helping anybody that's else right. out. You've got to be careful about that. So that's where, we're, that's where we went with it this morning. Uh, but anyways, going back to teachers, here's a good story. How about a retired kindergarten teacher's class? Check this out. The retired kindergarten teacher's class returns a decade later to surprise her on graduation day. She said it was, quote, unquote, a teacher's dream. Oh, wow. This is from Good News Network. How many need a little good news this morning? It's a group of high school seniors teamed up with a clever TikToker. You on TikTok yet, Doc? No, I'm not on TikTok. <laughs> Dude, I just thought of it. You should be the Doc of TikTok. The doc. TikTok Doc. <laughs> that's that's it, maybe man. so. <laughs> so a clever TikToker gave a retired kindergarten teacher a tearful surprise. Reading this here again, Good News Network. Miss Hamilton retired from a job as a teacher years ago, but it's clear she made a big impact as an educator. Mm-hmm. Her class of kindergarten students were all grown up, ready to graduate, cap and gown. Hamilton's daughter Kim organized for them to throw a surprise that racked up 3.2 million wow. views on TikTok, Doc. Can that's, you believe that? That's amazing. Hey, congratulations. That's cool, the teacher said when she spotted a former student on her porch. What's going on? And one student quickly became a dozen. I guess they showed up to her house. <laughs> Look at this, man. One student <laughs> became a dozen. Just imagine, you know, you're retired. You're out there sipping, what is that old country song? <laughs> sitting out here, <laughs> sip some of Miss Ben's sweet tea. <laughs> I don't even know where I'm going with that. <laughs> but you're sitting on your porch, you're sipping your sweet tea, and a student shows up. She's like, oh, that's cool. And then all of a sudden, the one student becomes a dozen. Mm. Picture this. I mean, close your eyes and picture You're sitting on the porch. You're sipping on some sweet tea. Maybe if you're a retired, you know, if you're a retired teacher, maybe you're sipping a cigar. Maybe you're puffing an old cigar, that's man. Right. You know, you're just chilling. <laughs> then one student, you, you see a student come up. And you're like, oh, cool. They're coming back to say hi to me. And then all of a sudden, it turns into a dozen. And then they start coming out from the bushes behind wow. obstacles. And they approach their first school teacher. I, I mean, she, I'll be, I'll be kind of overwhelmed, I man. Know, I know she was balling. She got to be balling. <laughs> but, I mean, talk about people coming out of the bushes, man. Oh, <laughs> like, you got yeah, that, too. <laughs> and she said, oh, oh, my gosh, did you know this was happening? She asked her daughter, who was recording, oh, my gosh, I love you all. Oh, my gosh, you're all just gorgeous. The video touched the hearts of teachers tuning in. One person writing proof they never stop being our kids after they leave us. Mm. And you just talked about that a while ago. The teachers are raising kids. They are, man. They're doing the job of parents, what parents should be doing. And listen with this proof they never stop being our kids 
after they leave us. Our, our kid. I always say our. That's to like, I guess, country. <laughs> but it's supposed to be our kids. Our. That just don't sound right. Anyways, the teacher said, I, I have tears and chills. It was a dream of mine. That TikTok story, by the way, you can just search for it. It's pretty Three easy. Three million views. Three million. Actually, wow, look at this now. Billions of videos coming in now. And and millions of mm. views, and it's already yeah, it was already over three million. And uh, here, let's listen to the audio of this. Wait, wait, well, hold up. That's 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 the funk going on. Here's the audio of this. Congratulations! I wish y'all could see this. This is the audio. Oh, her reaction's priceless. <laughs> Please. So she just started shaking. One, okay, here's the girl. She just shows up at the fence. Oh, wow. this was happening? That's the teacher. Oh my gosh, I love you all. Look at you. Listen to, listen to their joy, man. That's awesome. I can't show this, so I'm just trying to play the audio and you know give you the visualization. So here's one student, now more students. Look at this, man. I'm just showing up. That's, that's great. <laughs> that's pretty cool, man. So there's, you know, a dozen students. This lady's just sitting out there on her back patio, and all of a sudden, they show up through her garden is what it was. Wow. Show up through the garden, man. She probably taught for years, you know. You think, you know, you put that time in every day, and you hope that what you're doing every day is going to make a difference. And then, you know, to have them come back after all those years, it's just, I, I mean, I know she was overwhelmed. Joy is yeah. what it's all about. You talk about joy and smiling. My good friend, Miss Emily O'Rear, is joining us this morning. I call her the smile of Huntsville. Never seen anybody that's just so energetic, so compassionate as Miss Emily. We love you. Good to see you. And also, my good friend, Miss Melissa Barham over to Vantage Specialties, also saying good morning as well. Good morning to you, uh, Melissa. Also, a colleague of mine, Craig Way, voice of Longhorns, uh, tuning in a little bit ago. Good morning to you, Craig. And hook him, my friend. Had a pretty good run in the College World Series. Yeah. You know, got, yeah. got upset by old uh, Texas A&M A&M. down there. But uh, it, it, if you're a Longhorn fan, you'll say upset. If you're an Aggie <laughs> fan, you'll be like, I wasn't an upset. That's right. Uh, my good friend Andrew Monaco does the, the play-by-play down there at A&M. But, uh, Craig, good to see you this morning. And, uh, man, he's just a talented guy. Does so much for the state of Texas, not just at UT, but I'm talking about high school kids and mm. broadcasting them. Also, Sam Moak over at Moak & Moak Attorneys joining us this morning. Well, friends, time now, 840. If you were supposed to be at work at 8 a.m., you are probably not going to have a job. Are y'all hiring here at Huntsville Family Dental? <laughs> always looking for good help. <laughs> See, that was the key, always looking for good help. Good help. <laughs> but if, but if, if you're looking for work because you're supposed to be at work at 8 a.m. and it's 840, probably, probably not, not the good help that they were looking for here at Huntsville Family Dental. <laughs> hey, friends, we're having fun. We'll step aside. We'll take a break. Got a little inspiration for you. More of it coming your way here as we take about a minute and a half break. And then when we come back, this is what you've been waiting for. We're going to talk toothbrushes and teeth. We're going to make it fun. And uh, so get your cavities ready because we're going to talk about how to take care of your teeth. Sounds we'll be back good. in a moment. Stay with us, friends. This is your show. It's Good Morning Huntsville right here live from our good friends at Huntsville Family Dental. Stay with us, friends. Hello, friends. I'm Rob Hip, and here's today's inspiration about seeking goodness. Galatians 6.10 in the New Living Translation reads, Therefore, whenever we have the opportunity, we should do good to everyone, especially to those in the family of faith. Do you wake up with an attitude of gratitude? Are you thankful for what is around you? When you set the tone for the day with a positive atmosphere, dwelling on the good, you'll see a brighter day. Every day, you should look for the best in people. In return, be good to others, doing what is morally right. Lend a helping hand to someone in need. Voice words of encouragement over their life. Here's the key. As you you seek goodness, it shall be returned to you. If you face the same battles every day, are in a negative state of mind, and seem trapped in an endless cycle, evaluate how you are treating others. When you help others fight their battles, shower them with positivity, and guide them through the chains of an addiction, their life will change for the better. In return, you'll see a more abundant life. Seek goodness and remember how good God is. For previous messages and to share today's inspiration with a friend, visit todaysinspiration.org. Huntsville Family Dental is accepting new patients. Experienced dentists that are focused on the community and your family helps ensure a pleasant, anxiety-comforted dental experience. Only $49 for exam and x-rays for new cash patients. Fill at home at Huntsville Family Dental. From the friendly front office to the dedicated back chair, all your questions will be answered and you will leave with a smile and comfort knowing your dental needs have been addressed. Just smile. Call Huntsville Family Dental at 295-5437. That's 295-5437. There, Doc, hearing this song. 
sitting there hearing this song. That was the chopped version. Did you hear that? Yeah, I heard that. I thought you were remixing. Who was one. that? There was a guy back in the day. Yeah, I didn't remix it. There was a guy back in the day. Oh, there was a. It was Swisher House. You ever Swish heard Swisher House? Oh yeah. And every song was like do do do. It was all like chopped up. Yeah. Every, yeah. Is yeah. that still a popular thing? No, you? that was that was back in that day. Back in yeah. that day. Mm-hmm. Well, we are in this day, and this day is a good day. And you are joining us here on Good Morning. Huntsville. We are live from Huntsville Family Dental. My good friend, Dr. Gerald Presley. Always good to see you, man. Yes, sir. Hey, I wanted to take a moment and just bless your staff, man. They are, they're you've awesome. got such great staff I here. Do, man. I, I come do. in here tomorrow. You talk about, you know, I'm sure that some of these ladies have children. Oh, so yeah. So they got to wake up with do. babies or young children or, exactly. or teenagers. I don't, I don't know their story on that, but That's I'm right. telling you, man, it's early in the morning. It's early. And these girls are always smiling, they're always yeah. full of energy, always happy. And I, and I come in here, and I know that they probably, like us, they may be going through stuff some days. That's right, just like we all are. But they're here, and they're like, you know what? I'm not going to let that rain on this place mm-hmm. and this business. Because you go into some businesses. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I do. I know what you're talking about. And the about. employees, they're having a bad day, and there's like, Ugh. and it's, it's like that point, man, you just got to go home and reset. Yeah. I remember years ago when I had my IT business, I would identify that sometimes with some of my employees. We were mm-hmm. blessed, two locations, 13 employees at one point at our highest. And I remember the guys... Some days I could just tell that they were out of it, man. Yeah. And, and I would just tell them, like, I think you just need to go home. And I, and I wasn't mad at them. Right. But I think as a leader, sometimes you got to recognize when people aren't doing well. And the best thing that you can do, it's not about making money. It's about sending people home and letting them recharge. Reset. And I used to tell you, some of those guys, and an IT business was very stressful, man. And mm-hmm. so I'd tell them, hey, man, go home, recharge, come back tomorrow, and let's be ready to roll. Yeah, you that's know? awesome that you can see that as a leader. You yeah. have to, man, because <laughs> people are your most important asset. Speaking of that, man, people are your most important asset, but up here in the mouth area, your teeth are your most important asset. That's right. You only get one set. Let's talk about teeth, man. So I didn't even – I'm going to throw a curveball at you. <laughs> okay. okay. Sorry, Doc. That's, That's new. The, AD, <laughs> yeah, the ADD's <laughs> kicking in this morning. My little baby, seven-month-old, precious love, just, just, just love being a daddy, man. Mm-hmm. And the coolest thing just started happening. The little buds are coming in. Coming through. Why did the two bottom teeth come in first? It's just what, That's the first teeth we get. That's the first teeth that, that leave. And so when the permanent dentition comes, those will be the first permanent teeth that come in as well. So what's going on in a baby right now? I mean, do they already have, like, the big teeth already up in so, the palate? So are they already big and, like, are they still growing? So they are forming. So the buds are, the, the cells, the buds are already there. So they are forming. So if you take an x-ray of a two-year-old, let's say if you did a panoramic x-ray of a two-year-old, you'll be able to see those permanent tooth buds already that are forming so as they mature those teeth are going to mature as well and so when those baby teeth or deciduous teeth are ready to exfoliate when they got to pop in just like and they're going to be ready to go so it's mm. it's it's, it's amazing that we're, we're sometimes we're, we're already formed in the womb you know what i mean but those buds are they like are they already the full size like no no so they're so the teeth are continuing to grow and expand exactly so they're still maturing along with the child but the buds are still there you can still see that they are teeth there you know, one yeah. thing I've always been fascinated with in life is, like, how does our bodies know? It's like, okay, you're done. It's time to now stop it's growing. time for this. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Or even plants. You know, every, you know think about everything around you. Mm-hmm. You know, even, like, the hair on your arms, man. You know, now some people got really long arm hair. I ain't knocking <laughs> on you. Some of y'all, man, watch out now. For me, it's so weird, though. You think about it because, like, how does your hair on your arm know to stop growing? How? Think about that, yeah, man. Yeah, man. It's, it's amazing. It's how does that happen? But then your beard, it's like, nope, I'm going to keep on going. <laughs> right. So how does your beard keep going, but your arm? Somebody's like, well, your arm always rubs against stuff and all that. But I don't mm, think there's an – I mean, I I'm scratching my beard all day, and it right. still grows. Yeah, that's a good question, Rob. So we'll get yeah. back to teeth. Hey, man, some good <laughs> stuff happening here. Um, I know that you guys are starting to introduce Sonicare products. Yeah. That's like the – the, you know, in radio, we always say like the flagship. Like when you're the when you're that station, when you're like a network, and you're that you're that station, you're the flagship. Sonicare is kind of like the flagship of the electronic toothbrush. Yeah, right? of course. You tell know, tell us about what their products are and what well, you guys are doing now. Well, man. Sonicare they they've been around for a long time, and we've partnered with them and trying to get Sonicare uh, available to our patients if they so want it. Uh, so they're really good brushes, soft uh, bristle brushes. They're motorized. They're rechargeable. Um, you know, they have a timer, so they keep you brushing two minutes, which is what we recommend anyway. Uh, so it's just, it's good to have if, you know, you're having trouble 
brushing properly with a regular toothbrush. Now, we don't advocate that you go that you have to go out and purchase these toothbrushes, but you know, it's a luxury. We're providing this for you here at Huntsville Family Dental. Now you got to pay for it, and it's uh, you know reasonably priced, and so it, it won't bust your wallet, but. You know, you could get online, you could say, well, I'm going to go here and buy the product. But you know what? It's better to come to a dental office, the mm -hmm. experts. Amazon is not the experts at toothbrushes. <laughs> so you come to your local dental office, Huntsville Family Dental. Dr. Presley and his great staff, and the ladies here, they will take care of you, and they will tell you why they recommend this product mm -hmm. and why you need it. You know, you don't get that kind of service when you go through an Amazon. Not that's knocking, right. I order on Amazon once a oh, week, yeah. man. Oh, but yeah. that's why you got to come here. So, you know, as we head into those months, and we talk a lot about dental health, mm -hmm. and, and, and I know that this is a you know, social media show, but we promote it uh, as well through the airwaves. You know, it's, it's all about just top of mind and constantly engaging. That's why we talk so much about dental health, because some of you, man, we got to just keep talking about it and talking about it and talking about it to get it through. Yeah. Me as well. Um, just talk about that importance of just taking care of your teeth, man. Once again, people need to understand why that is so important. Doc. Well, like, I, like we've always been talking before, there's a direct correlation with your oral health and your overall health. Uh, a lot of the bacteria that, that are in the mouth, uh, you know, they, it, it, it's all related. It passes in the bloodstream. It goes to other parts of your body. So we have to make sure your mouth is healthy, your mouth is clean. And so coming to the dentist regularly is going to do that, help prevent periodontal or gum disease, things of that nature. People with diabetes and heart issues especially uh, need to take care of their oral health and, and, and hygiene. We talked, too, about flossing twice a day, morning, night. Once a day. Once the, a day. With the flossing. But brushing, brushing twice, twice a, day. a day. At least. Now, you can always do more. But it's probably better, I would assume, to floss at night because now because you don't want to let that stuff sit in there exactly. overnight. Is that right? You're exactly right, Rob. So you don't want the, everything that you've been eating throughout the day to sit in between the teeth and give the bacteria a chance to form that acid, which breaks down the enamel in your teeth. And don't get scared if you're cavities. flossing and you notice some, you know, a little bleeding. I mean, it's better to go ahead and start that now and just get your teeth on that path of recovery, you're right? You're exactly right. And in fact, if you start brushing or you start flossing and you haven't done it in a while, you're going to have some bleeding. And most of the time that scares people. Mm -hmm. But don't, don't let that scare you. If you're continuously brushing, doing a routine care, uh, usually within one to two weeks, that blood goes down. Those gums become more fibrous and they become healthier. So don't let that blood stop you. You can come down to Huntsville Family Dental. If you got any concerns, come over and see my good friend, Dr. Presley. You know, I, and Doc, I got to talk about you, man, because you take time to be on this show. And I didn't, I didn't realize this at first because I thought, okay, you start seeing patients at 9 o'clock. That's not true. You see patients at 8 o'clock. We do. We start at 8. But when we do this show, you're basically taking an hour out of – you know, your day to just educate people. Well, of course. And we appreciate that, man. Oh, definitely. So definitely. I, I don't want to ever cut into your business, but you know how much that means just to be able to educate. So Dr. Presley has taken the time out of his busy day, one hour a week or every other week from, from what he does to be here to educate you. And so it's really important. Come back and show him that same level of respect. He's taking time for you. Come take time for him. See his staff. You can find out more information about Huntsville Family Dental, HuntsvilleTXDental.com. You remember back in the day, there was this like website, like Hotwire, Hotwire, oh, yeah. H O T W I R E, Hotwire dot com. <laughs> so every, I miss those old <laughs> jingles, like the late nineties, yeah. early two thousands. There was another. They would always say dot com. Yeah, <laughs> yep. Anyways, we've talked about that before. So, all right, man, we've got a lot more to talk about. A lot of events happening in Huntsville, Texas. We're gonna step aside. We're gonna take a quick break. And then when we come back, we got nine minutes to chat about all the good things going on. Listen, if you're on the stream this morning, whether you're on LinkedIn, Facebook, YouTube, wherever you may be, especially if you're in the Huntsville, Texas area, you may be listening from New Waverly. I've got some friends in New Waverly that start to join us now, as well as a Willis and Conroe and Lake Conroe. Let us know about events happening that you know of, and we'll talk about those as well. For now, though, we're going to step aside. We're going to take a break. We will be back in a moment for our third and final segment this is good morning huntsville right here live and we'll be back in a moment stay with us
accepting new patients. Experienced dentists that are focused on the community and your family helps ensure a pleasant, anxiety-comforted dental experience. Only $49 for exam and x-rays for new cash patients. Fill at home at Huntsville Family Dental from the friendly front office to the dedicated back chair. All your questions will be answered and you will leave with a smile and comfort knowing your dental needs have been addressed. Just smile. Call Huntsville Family Dental at 295-5437. That's 295-5437. Look at that. Today, this morning, if I need a little... Starting to sound like R. Kelly up in here, man. Oh. <laughs> a little bit of that doo doo, a little bit of that beep beep. Remember that back in the day? Oh, yeah. Oh, man. A little R. Kelly, man. Oh, man. I was. You ever watch American, uh, oh, what is it? America's Got Talent. Oh, yeah. We watch it with the kids. It's a good it's show. It's a good show. Most of the time, it's, you know, good family filled fun. Every is. once in a while, there's like a couple of things. <laughs> yeah. But uh, they had some act on there last night that was just absolutely terrible. And, and I got to <laughs> wonder sometimes. If some of those acts are, if they script them in because they're that, because you know, whenever that show, the way that it works, from what I understand, is mm-hmm. you don't get to that stage or get in front of those folks until you go through like multiple layers. Exactly. So you have to go through initial screeners mm-hmm. to think that if you're good enough to go on and go on and go on. And then finally you get, you know, in front of Simon and all them. Right. But this was, t- it was like bicycle comedy. <laughs> I the saw that. Worst thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Bicycle my, jokes. Yeah, it was terrible, man. Yeah. I think they put those in just to, it's just for entertainment, you know? They it's absolutely <laughs> terrible. Like, I almost had nightmares over how bad it was last night. And then you got to wonder, too, you know, man, I mean, you got to tell people, we can't live in a world where everybody gets an award. But then you got to wonder, like, how do some people take that, you know? If it, mm-hmm. if it is legitimate, they're it's like, only, only going to be one winner. Yeah. Out of everybody. But I'm talking about when you're that bad oh, and they just insane. call you out on it and the audience is all, boo, boo. I mean, how do you think you feel when you leave there, man? <laughs> I tell you, man. Like, your dreams are smashed. <laughs> I need to listen to today's inspiration, man, that I put out every day to just keep going, you know, man. Mm. So, hey, my good buddy Wally Harmon joining us this morning from uh, the Georgetown area just outside of Austin. Good morning, Wally. He got to call a 5A baseball state championship, man. Oh, That's cool. exciting for him, for, for my alma mater down there. I was able to, to call Georgetown for six years, and then Wally has uh, done a great job taking over that and doing great, man. So awesome work, Wally. Good to hear from him. By the way, uh, my headphones, man. You know, Wally Wally uh, was awesome, and back in the day said, I want to I want to gift you, man, and I appreciate you, Wally. Oh, wow. Hey, so here's what's going on this morning. Good morning, by the way. Let us know you're out there. We'd love to hear from you. The show is all about you, all about the good happening in Huntsville. I want to talk a little bit about summer reading. Hey, you know, reading is so important, Dr. Presley. It is. And it's not, you know, especially for kids, but even adults. I have a habit of picking up books and reading like the first half of it, and then I just, and then my ADD kicks in and I go to another book. Yep. <laughs> you don't finish. Exactly. But there are a variety of programs for families and others at the Huntsville Public Library to find out all of the different programs offered. There's a lot of summer reading going on. You can visit the library's website. And uh, I'm not sure what that website is, by the way, but just Google Huntsville TX Public Library. You'll be able to find it. You can also call them for more information, 936-291-5471. We talk about this a lot, too, the Walker County Farmer's Market. You ever go to any of those farmer's markets? I haven't. They're fun, is, man. Is it like a jockey lot? You say, I don't know. It's fun. <laughs> okay. What is a jockey lot? What is that? That's, that's, that's South Carolina. I guess it's kind of like the same deal where there's a lot of vendors there and have their own tables and they sell them various goods. Um, you know, merchandise. And it's called a jockey the lot. A jockey lot. That sounds like like you got to spend a lot of money at this thing, man. <laughs> no, it's pretty cheap. Jockey lot. Well, <laughs> the Walker County Jockey Lot. It's also the <laughs> Farmer's Market located in the north parking lot at West Hill Mall here in Huntsville. Open Wednesday and Sunday mornings, 8 a.m. to sold out. Or Wednesday and Saturday morning. Don't show up on Sunday. You better be in church, man. Wednesday and Saturday morning at 8 a.m. until sold out. they got a great variety of items, fresh produce, bread, eggs, canned goods, soaps, and more. Get there early to get the best selection. How many times you know when you go into the grocery store and you're trying to get that tomato and you go late in the day and all that's left of them nasty, wrinkled-up tomatoes <laughs> oh, yeah. that ain't good for you? Get to the farmer's market early. That's right. You eat tomatoes, man? I do. Onions? Not so much. Let's <laughs> we'll go through every food. Onions, tomatoes. Anyways, it's all good, man. So make sure to check it out. Again, it's the Walker County Farmer's Market, North Parking Lot, West Hill, 
Mall. Also, going back to the library, great activity coming up, by the way. Uh, they are calling this the Hands-On Crafting Day. This is happening tomorrow at 2 p.m. at the library in the Skaggs Community Room. At this event, you can make your own fairy puppet, wearable butterfly wings, and more. Doc, I think you need to go down there for those butterfly wings. Get those wings. Get those wings. Uh, you know, If you got kiddos, take them down. There's going to be a lot of fun courses for kids. Go down there and... And, uh, and please participate in this if you got some kiddos looking for something to do. For more information, you can t- contact Dr. Alyssa Myers, 936-291-5910. Again, that event for your kiddos, 936-291-5910. How about this, man? This is something cool, and we're going to have to talk to uh, my good friend Michelle Spencer about this too. How about helping to design your future playscape in Huntsville? Hmm. New playground is coming to Easton Thomason Park planners needing your input how many times do we as community sit back oh, i wish they would have did this wish that's they right. would have done that that's right now's well, your chance every you always hear it here's time for your input parents and guardians your kids are needed for their input to design their drawings will be used as inspiration for the final design pretty cool stuff hmm. community support is essential to making this project a success at the event you'll learn more about the project and how to get involved to turn the kids dreamed playscapes into reality there is a meeting coming up. This is tomorrow, 3.30 to 5 p.m. at the Huntsville Public Library. If you're attend- uh, interested in attending this meeting, you're going to need to register online. You can go to facebook.com forward slash C-O-H rec services. That's facebook.com forward slash C-O-H rec services and uh, get more information there. So give some input. And uh, got some people calling me too this morning, man. Hey, hold- hey, check this. It's my old buddy Steve Ricks calling. I'm going to have to call him back. He's down in the Beaumont area now, okay. man. Uh, also, New Waverly Public Library, a non-sanction. <laughs> sound like Sean Connery coming out. Here, let's let's read this one like Sean. Are you ready? The New Waverly Public Library. <laughs> oh wow! Will be hosting a non-sanctioned barbecue cook-off fundraiser for the library on Friday and Saturday, July the eighth and 9th. and the registration is now open. Just kidding. That's not very good. good. Deadline to register July the 1st. A non-sanctioned barbecue cook-off there uh, at the New Waverly Public Library. Google that when you can find more information. Here's one for you, Doc. How about this? The burn your buns. Burn your buns. Burn (laughs) burn your buns. What's that about? It's a charity bike ride happening Monday, July the 4th. It's 18th year. It's an annual fundraiser for our good friends at Bridgewood Farms. It's a 501c3 nonprofit in Conroe. Find out more information about that event at Bridgewood Farms. Dot org. We'll go down here a little bit more. I want to remind you the Huntsville Hearts Veterans Museum invites all veterans. So if you know of a veteran, let them know about this. It's a breakfast for them taking place the first Saturday of each month from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. at the museum. And I love that, that it's not at like 5 a.m. to 7 a.m. Mm. Let's do things a little bit later in the morning, especially exactly. if you're a veteran. These guys have already paid the sacrifice. Let them have a little rest, then get in there and get that breakfast from exactly. 9 to 11. That next breakfast is set for July the 2nd. Uh, go ahead and, and check out our friends over there at the Hearts Veterans Museum. Finally, let's go talk 4th of July, man. You excited? Yes, I am. We got one yes, minute. It's 9 am. o'clock. Got to get you to work, Doc. The city of Huntsville will be hosting their annual 4th of July celebration, Cape Bar Ross Park, coming up on Monday, July the 4th. Be many different fun family activities, including, including a dunk tank, almost at a drunk tank. We don't want to get in that thing. <laughs> Uh, all the family – that would not be a family activity, by the way. <laughs> all the family activities will begin at 4 p.m. Uh, then at 8 p.m. those activities will end as the fireworks show will soon be taking place. So there will be – despite any type of burn ban, there will be a fireworks show happening. Uh, we talked to Bill Doggett a few weeks ago about that here on this show. Remember, personal coolers are quite welcome. Hmm. Not just welcome, but quite – I like quite that. Welcome. I like I like that. Remember, personal coolers are quite welcome. <laughs> <laughs> but no glass containers are allowed, and alcohol is not permitted in the park. Also, no personal fireworks allowed in the park. Mm-hmm. For more information, you can contact our good friend, Miss Christy Wheeler, 936 294 5721. We've got a little bit more here, but that's what we're going to talk about uh, to wrap it up here today. Doc, final comments before we go. It has been a fun morning, and we did it. Yeah, we did, man. It's, it was fun. Final word, man. What, final word. Something that makes you mad that shouldn't make you mad in sports. In sports. I would have to say the flopping. The flopping. All the flopping in sports. Gotcha. That's a good one. You know, back in the day, we didn't see those. Those guys were a lot tougher, it just seemed like. So you, we didn't see that flopping. The flopping just, just gets on my nerves. Just flop till you drop, man. <laughs> what I don't like, here's the things in sports that, 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 should, that, that make me mad that shouldn't make me What's mad. That? Whenever you're like at a Super Bowl party and people are just yelling and screaming like they're all into it, and then the rest of the year they don't even care. <laughs> you don't care. 
things that make you mad that should not make That's you right. mad. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, yeah. It's like you never even act like this. Excited for the occasion. But now because you're around, you know, whatever. Yeah. I don't want to leave you on a negative note. <laughs> friends, I want to remind you this morning to come by and check out our good friends at Huntsville Family Dental. Huntsville TX. HuntsvilleFamilyTXDental.com. Come down here. Check them out again. Huntsville. It's actually HuntsvilleTXDental.com. HuntsvilleTXDental.com. Please come by. When you come, tell Dr. Presley and his staff that I sent you over here. And uh, let's continue to help out good folks in our community. Want to leave you with a positive note as always. Doc, it's been a fun one here this morning. Yes, sir. Want always. to remind you today that we're not strong enough alone to make it on our own. We need each other. Provide that word of encouragement. Lend a hand of support. I guarantee somebody out there this morning needs you. Good morning, Huntsville. God bless. And we'll see you back next time right here on your show. Have a wonderful and blessed day, everyone.